Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am actually going to show you what actually happened to my first Sunbeam Nutri Oven that I purchased back in 2011. So this is my old one here. As you can see, um, some of the writing has disappeared and I just marked it with the marker, 180 degrees. And yeah, it's just lost some of its um, prints around here and around here. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's actually quite dirty and quite stained. The reason that it looks like this is, um, well, I didn't bother to clean it every time after I finished cooking, you know, because if I were to clean it, I would have had to wait um, a few minutes until the whole thing cools down a little bit and then I could clean it. But um, yeah, I didn't have the patience to wait, so I just packed it away after I finished. <laughs> so yeah, it looks pretty burned. You know, there's uh, quite thick of um, uh, deposit there, <laughs> oil, I guess. So that's quite dirty. If you have a new one, my suggestion would be that you wait for the unit to cool down a little bit. And then after that, use something like this. This is a non-scratch pad. Or even something like this. And then just clean all around it with uh, hot soapy water and you should hold it upwards like this so that the um, liquid doesn't get into the electrical parts up above so you know like clean it like this so what happened to this one was um, um i kind of yanked the cable you know kind of tucked it a little bit and um the outer part there came out of the little hole this bit here and um, just before it died it was kind of playing up so I plugged it in but then the lights were not actually on until I wiggled it then the lights would come on so that actually meant there was something loose inside it until one night when I plugged it in I heard this loud piercing noise coming out of this unit followed by um i believe it was white smoke a little bit of white smoke coming out of this hose ventilation so a loud piercing bang and also uh, some smoke coming out and i noticed the burn mark here so after that happened i quickly unplugged the unit because by that time i knew that um something must have short-circuited in inside this unit here so since that um, day, I have not plugged it in because I'm pretty sure that um, something dangerous happened there. <laughs> so see the cable itself, there's, um, there's a little bit of split there. I know I did not do that, so that must have happened um, from that uh, little explosion. See that's exposed there. And you can see the burn mark on it too. So yeah, the lesson that I learned was um, make sure that you have the right distance between the unit and the electrical uh, plug so that you didn't stretch the cable too far and cause the connection to become uh, loose inside it because if that happened, um, it could be in a dangerous situation. So yeah, this is my old unit, I'm showing you again. It's really dirty and makes the whole canvas dirty as well. So yeah, I suggest um, clean the unit um, kind of in this upright position because you don't want um, any liquid to get into the electrical parts there. So clean it like so and then kind of scratch it and clean it. Okay. Alright guys, so I hope this video is useful for you. Um, if it is, just give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Bye!